Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Union Cross. We're going to be talking about the white mushroom for the VIP and also the four axles or three axles that come with it. It's been a weird vibe VIP. I don't see the value in this one. It's a little bit, I guess, extra trait rolls for people because anyone who buys VIP already has axle most likely. And anyone who does buy VIP and doesn't have axle, it's a bonus to them. But either way, axle is very outdated, so it's weird that he's back in the system as a VIP purchase there's so many other things they could have put in there instead especially if they're about to hit tier six primes they could have put a couple of tier five primes in there for vip users especially with a metal like white mushroom that we're going to talk about in a second so vip to me this week is, is weird that's all i can say um it'll benefit some people and other people it's just a complete waste and they're not really getting anything except for the white mushroom but let's talk about the white mushroom and what does he do what's going on with this guy so there's a little guy being really cute and adorable i don't know why he's an reverse White Mushroom was very innocent and he just wanted to help us. He was cold and then he was too hot. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I figured he'd be like a nice upright when I first saw him. But he is a reverse. He is an enemy. He isn't heartless. So, yada, yada, yada. It's a, it's a dark border. But what does he do? So, for one turn, he overwrites your PSM defense by plus four. So, he's a tanking metal. But he has overwrite with that. And then he also overwrites the target's PSM strength negative two. He's one of four metals that do this in the game for PSM strength. All three of them together. So, that means power, magic, and speed. The enemy's attack will go down for that by two. And he restores HP and gauges plus five so uh well let me before we jump into it do not make this metal a seven star there's no point no point at all six star 4.98 damage seven star 22 multiplier weak very weak okay he is not an attacking enemy and that's why i said he should have been an upright this cute little bastard but let's talk about what does he sound like he sounds like a Kyrie, and he sounds like a shion Kyrie. Restores HP, increases gauges, but does so much more. And also lowers the enemy's attack by two with an override ability. Same thing with Kyrie, but Kyrie does the upright version of everything. She has the gauge restore pluses, she's got HP increase, all that good stuff, and she lowers the enemy's attribute strength down by two. But these Kyries and Shions don't do anything about your defense where this guy does. So again, he's tanking. So since there is no value for that negative two, because you guys should be using Kyries and Shion, and if you're not, then you're most likely using a Foreteller or Stained Glass. And if you do need a tanky metal, you also have yourself Mrs. Incredible, if you didn't skip on her. She's got negative seven general attack down, along with negative two uh, attribute strength down as well. That's for one turn. So you already have four medals in the game that lower all three of them in one cast. So what does he compare to when you look at the Foreteller? So let's just say the enemy is going to be lowered by two power strength down once this loads so we have one of the four tellers here hd mvex plus she does three attribute strength down for power and she also raises your defense up by seven for power so if you are facing a specific enemies these four tellers do a little bit better um actually a lot better unless you have well you can't even do extra attack on these guys i was gonna say if you have extra attack but that's overwrite so no matter if you have extra attack or cast this metal twice with copying or having two copies it'll always be four and two they don't want to go any further than that two and three at the moment because it's very powerful to lower the enemy's attribute attack down it's also one of the newer uh, mechanics in the game so you have here Asid and Ira, who lower, again, three speed strength down, seven speed defense up for you. Same thing with Ira over here. Same exact thing, three down uh, and seven up. And then, of course, you go into the magic one, and you got yourself HD Gula, which is three magic down and seven magic up. So you already have a couple medals in the game that you guys might have pulled for or not pulled for that already outshine this guy when it comes to specific attributes. But again, he is the first medal in the game to do both. He does both of them for all three. He raises defense up by four for all three attributes, and he lowers uh, attribute strength down by two for all three. So he is the only one that does both of those in one metal, not at maxed out, not at seven, but he does both of them in one cast. But that's not really important, like I said, when you compare it to Kairi's and Shion's on your Keyblade setups, because they lower all three attribute strength down two, and then you just bring yourself one of these medals and you're good to go because demix we all know is the tank god in this game demix does seven general defense up for us and seven attribute uh defense up for us as well it's not overwrite 
but you got five turns worth of this, meaning this metal has future value for a very, very long time. Even if you don't have extra attack on this metal, that carries over five turns. So on the first turn, if you don't fully do it, you got second chance and HP recovery for two turns before this kicks in to overwrite everything. Now, overwrite will be more powerful when enemies that raise their defense to seven right away on a on a, a cast of their spells or whatever then of course overwrite shines better but if an enemy is not raising their defense up by seven every turn demix here is pretty much the best thing you guys can do because he also lowers the enemy's general attack which goes in great combination with starting with a kairi or shion or foreteller metal that lowers that attribute strength down so demix is just already way better than this white mushroom when it comes to that point because he got that seven for five turns where white mushroom is only one turn but it is an override ability so it will never go higher than four no matter how many times you cast this guy so demix already does better ava here ava lowers all attribute strength down by three so already if you have ava you wouldn't care about the mushroom at all because you'd use ava mixed with um, any metal that raises your general defense up because Ava does seven attribute strength I mean defense up along with three so Ava is the better tanking metal compared to the white mushroom having that three down and actually just the better tanking in general as long as you have something that has time seven so Ava and Demix put together equals tanking forever on a lot of quests um, that you guys might not see so Ava plus that equals infinite tanking and as this becomes a non override ability on all these metals and you can actually stack this to time seven it's going to become very apparent that you can tag a lot of things so you do have a lot going on that again outshines the white mushroom if you have them already and as you go down the list you of course have yourself uh, the nominee EX not a lot of people got this medal, but she does have three up uh, For attribute defense and two generals uh, up as well. No lore in the enemy's attack But it is for three turns So you could cap out on this one and six for general defense and you go down if you guys got prime violet She's four turns. She starts off with that times four and times three So again, you have more defense out of this one the whole point of the white mushroom because you can keep going down and down and keep looking at other metals sexy and so on and so on but the main thing about the white mushroom is that he does both of them. That's about it, guys. Um, and he also restores your gauges, plus 5, PSM. So there is going to be a very niche part, like one or two quests that he might be better. Might. Um, it's hard to really picture it at the moment because he's not that strong. And again, our Kairis and Shions have that negative 2 or your foreteller medal. So you just bring it in a defensive medal. Because if you go Kairi into mushroom just to get that times four there you're using two spots anyway so you might as well go Kyrie into a demix or into an ava or into a miss uh prime violet here for the defense up or even a zexian that you guys got from the organization event it's just better to do it the other way than bringing um this guy in because he's only going to only going to go to times four and the reason this is it this looks like this right now is because this metal came out a while ago in jp so he just doesn't shine as much if he came out like a month ago or two months ago around that time. Um, now that he's this late to the global version, after we got all these other medals, he doesn't look as impressive. If he came before all these medals, I would have been like, yeah, this is a great start. But remember, VIP is early access. Well, they kind of screwed up on the early access part because it's not early access anymore. It's just a late VIP medal that they're just trying to catch up with um, instead of bringing the other VIPs that are currently in JP. But I guess we'll slowly see everything. It's one of those VIPs, if you're purchasing it, you're getting Ac Prime Axles, Tier 4 Metal, and 4,400 Jewels. It's a sad VIP, guys. It is a, it's a sad VIP. You're, you're actually just buying it for 4,400 Jewels and some rerolls on Axel if you already got him. If you didn't get him, boom, you got a free Axel because you purchased VIP anyways. Um, but that is pretty much it for that. I want to jump into Union Cross itself and talk about a couple things are ending to give you guys a heads up. Uh, just in case that you don't miss anything because it's really important uh, that you get everything done if you want max quality of the game. <laughs> All right, things that are ending, starting off with Union Cross, you have today, tomorrow, and that's it. After that, this resets on November 1st, and you guys have to clear these boards if you want the Magic Mirrors, if you want the Mickey and Brooms, so on and so on. There's a lot in here that you guys shouldn't skip out on. <laughs> the wife's home. 
Next up is Coliseum. Coliseum, as you guys can see up here, you got one day, today, tomorrow, and then it's gone. Obviously, end of the month, but some of you guys might forget about the Coliseum boards. Don't forget to collect your Coliseum boards as you're going through this, because a lot of people just charge through Coliseum, like, okay, I made my ranking, I'm good, and they forget to collect these boards. There's Magic Mirrors, Chip and Dales, and of course, a free avatar every month. Also, as you complete the tiers, there is a Moon Gem in here, so don't forget about that. Coliseum has everything going on for it and even making brooms now or it's not making brooms magic brooms and that one for completing tier 15 so don't forget to complete this before the month ends there's freebies in there especially the moon gem that has really high value right now because there's just not enough in the game and then of course in the quest section we do have rescue the keyblade wielders for a thousand jewels quick little story it's adorable um it's just a little halloween event thousand jewels in there and then you have today and tomorrow to defeat the heartless collect your avatar boards uh don't forget boosters are disappearing as well so all these quests here belong together they're all one day they are for those event coins to get the boosters get the halloween medals to get the avatar board but boosters are going to be ending in two days so if you guys are using starlight to beat anything right now I would definitely be doing that and the boosters from that event so you only have two days left to use starlight plus these boosters because you're about to see a big difference in your pvp points and the damage you're doing to enemies because there's a lot of boosters this month especially if you combine these two together the power speed and magic along with the starlight it's a lot of power you guys are seeing right now so it's about to drop real quick so that's pretty much everything guys if i missed anything if you want anything on the white mushroom that i might have mistaken on uh let us know down below in the comment section if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button and as always thank you so much for watching keep on smiling and i'll see you in the next one